Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm making my gear. I was playing guitar this week, just messing around, playing some old hits, old ditties. You know, all the big ones. You know, Silver Chair Tomorrow, a little bit of Nirvana, Dive, Little Tool, Bottom. Everybody know that one? The unfortunate thing was that when I was playing this stuff, I had to play it all clean because I don't have a distortion pedal anymore. I've just got a little solid state amp and I need a distortion pedal or some sort of overdrive, fuzz, whatever you want to call it. So today we're going to tackle a very simple circuit. It's called the Baz Fuss Pedal. There's a link in the description to the schematic that I'm using and the individual who wrote this article has done many iterations of this particular pedal. We're going to be doing the very first circuit in the article. So let's go to the overhead cam and I will show you the parts that I've gathered for this particular project and we will start building it and then we will play some guitar and you'll see why I chose the Cyclone as my main guitar because I would describe my guitar playing as a natural disaster. That's how I would describe my guitar playing. Let's talk about parts that we're using. Let me grab the schematic really quick. As you can see, I changed the diode. The original schematic calls for a 1N914, but I don't have any of those. So I'm just using the standard 1N4148 diode and the transistor, it calls for a 2N50588, which also I do not have. So I'm using the C945 transistor and there's a 100K pot. And then these two capacitors here I'm using 4.7 microfarad and 0.1 microfarad. I do have a couple extra components to breadboard with. I've got a barrel jack connected to some breadboard jumpers that's going to my pedal board power supply. And I've got two TS jacks with breadboard jumpers soldered to it and the 100K pot. Let's breadboard this and check it out. Yeah, sounds good. Now, let me just put down my guitar. I've got a pedal enclosure here that's from an old abandoned project. Got a little LED in there and a 100K pot already and the barrel jack uh, connector and the TS jacks. Obviously the drilling doesn't look very good, so I made these little covers on the CNC to cover up the mistake. I think that'll look better. And then uh, I've got a little piece of perf board this time just because it's such a small circuit. For me, it just doesn't really make any sense to make it on the CNC. And then I've got some labels, I've got a knob, and that's pretty much it. Let's build it and hook it back up to the amp and then we'll play some more guitar. All right, we got the Baz Fuss hooked up. Uh, let me just go through my signal chain here. It's very simple. Guitar, tuner, uh, just on off the side of the screen here. Baz Fuss pedal and little tiny solid state amp. I don't have any microphones, so I will be using this uh, H1 handy recorder to record the guitar. I'm just gonna place it on top of the amp and that's it. 
So I'll start off with the clean tone, just so you have a basis of what the amp sounds like, and then we will hear what the pedal sounds like. Well, there you have it. Simple Baz Fuss distortion. I'm curious to hear what the other circuits sound like in the article, but that will be for another video and another time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.